good morning my children i am your english teacher here how are you all i hope you all are fine and you are taking care of yourself how was your last week were you able to do all the worksheets that were given to you very good so i believe that you know by now you know what sentences are so before we move ahead let us revise what we did last week here we go okay sentences we did sentences last week and i know that you by now you know what sentences are sentence is a group of words that make sense you have learned the definition now and you can repeat after me sentence is a group of words that make sense i gave you few rules also and i know you have learned those rules i gave you few rules also so let's revise those rules the first rule was every sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop or any punctuation mark many worksheets were given to you and there were few questions in which you were supposed to rewrite the sentences using capital letter and a punctuation mark and i know my children that you were able to do those worksheet the next rule every sentence has a noun third rule every sentence has a verb you know what noun is and what verb is you have studied in class 2 a noun is a name of a place person animal or thing and verb is an action word and i know you were able to do all the worksheets that were given to you and now you know what sentences are are you all ready to move ahead with me before we move move ahead let's do a little warm up exercise i'm here to teach you a poem and i know before teaching that i want to just ask you few questions children what do you enjoy doing on a hot summer day think what do you enjoy doing on a hot summer day if you ask me i i can say i enjoy eating ice cream on a hot summer day i love to sit in a cool place in the evening i like to go and play in the park these are just few suggestions my children you can use your old notebooks and write down few sentences of what do you like or enjoy doing on a hot summer day let's move ahead i got a very beautiful picture for you to see can you tell me what is going around in this picture you can all see the picture see the sun is shining brightly in the sky the birds are flying the children are playing in the water one girl is resting in the shade one girl is playing in the mud right and there are other things also that you can see in this picture now children write down your observations in your notebook you can write five observations or what you see in the picture you can write down and when you are writing write in complete sentences okay 
use the capital letter and you end it with a full stop. I give you two minutes to do before we move ahead. I guess children by now you must have written few observations. Before we go ahead and learn the poem, I want to te teach you few new words that will help you to understand the poem better. So the first new word that I want you to learn, but before I show you that word, can you see the picture? What do you see in the picture? Yes, a river is flow. Okay. So let's see what a new word is. Brook. Okay. The new word that I want you to learn is brook. And brook means a small river. Can you see a small river in the picture? Yes. Brook means a small river. And children, note down these new words in your notebooks. And you have to learn the meaning, meaning of these new words. The next new word is, see the picture. Can you see that girl stretching a hand and taking a thing? The new word that I want you to learn is, Handy. Something kept in an easy to get place. That girl is stretching herself to get a thing which is handy to her. So handy is your new word and it means something kept in an easy to get place. Let's move ahead. Our next new word is gleaming. What is the next new word? Gleaming. And it means shining. Children, can you see the star shining? So the new word is gleaming and it means shining. Let's move ahead. Ripples. We call those waves ripples. A very small wave or movement on the surface of water. A very small wave or movement on the surface of water. So, I taught you five new words. What are those words? The first word, book. Second word, handy. Third word, gleaming. Fourth word, streaming. The last, ripples. Please note down these words, children, in your notebook with their meanings. And in the coming days, learn these words and their meaning. Now that you know these new words, let's move ahead and learn poem, our poem. Let's recite a poem, children. The title of our poem is In July. And the poet name is Evelyn Stein. So my dear children, whenever you are learning any poem, poem, you are supposed to learn the title of the poem and the poet's name. Let's begin. In July, composed by Evelyn Stein. Let us find a shady, wady, pretty little rook. Let us have some candy handy and a picture book. There all day, we'll stay and play. And never mind the heat. 
while the water gleaming streaming ripples round our feet isn't it an easy poem let's recite it once again in july composed by evelyn stein let us find a shady wady pretty little rook let us have some candy handy and a picture book there all day we'll stay and play and never mind the heat while the water gleaming streaming ripples round our feet well done children before we move ahead i would like to explain you the meaning of the poem the first line let us find a shady wady can you look at the picture see there are so many children and they were they are having fun beside a brook so they are saying let us find a place a shaded place to sit beside a brook let us have some candy handy they want some candies and a picture book they all day will stay and play they want to stay there beside the brook the whole day and play and never mind the heat they are not bothered by the heat while the water gleaming streaming the water is shining because the sun rays are falling on the water and streaming and it is flowing ripples round our feet they have their feet dipped in water and the waves are found around their feet so now that you know the meaning of your poem poem let's read it once again in july composed by evelyn stein let us find a shady wady pretty little brook let us have some candy handy and a picture book there all day we'll stay and play and never mind the heat while the water gleaming streaming ripples round our feet so my dear children in the coming days you have to learn this poem by heart and with correct pronunciation you can recite your poem once every day let move ahead now that you know your poem poem there are few exercises that i want to do with you you can note down these exercises in your notebook the first exercise complete the sentences with the correct words i will give you few sentences along with the options and i would like you to note down these sentences in your notebook and complete the sentences with the correct words from the options given the first sentence the children want to have a picnic near a where do the children like to have a picnic the options are library or brook tell me children the children want to have a picnic near a brook well done let's go to the next one they want to tell me what did the children want to do there the options are 
sleep, read, eat, sing or play. They wanted to yes they wanted they want to read, eat and play there. I repeat they want to read, eat and play there. Well done children. Let's move ahead. They want to spend how much time there? The options are the morning or the whole day. They want to spend the whole day there. Well done children. I hope you were able to do this exercise. Let's move ahead. I want to ask you a question. And you can write down the answer in your notes. Is it a hot or a cold day? Tell me children, is it a hot or a cold day? Yes, it is a hot day. And which line in the poem tells you this? You know in the poem, the poem? Yes, the first line. Let us find a shady way day. When it is a hot day, you want a shade to sit. Well done, children. Before I leave you with the poem, I would like to give you a fun activity that you can do later on. You have to draw a picture of a picnic spot in your notebook. You have to draw a picture of a picnic spot in your notebook. Children, draw a beautiful picture with the borders and color it beautifully. And I will see your, your picture on the day when you will come to school. So my dear children, here we come to the end of our class. And I expect you to learn your poem every day. With the correct pronunciation. Learn the new words along with their meaning. And do the exercises that we did in your notebooks. Thank you my dear children. God bless you. Take care of yourself.